What's up everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel. My name is Christian, I'm a realtor here in Long Beach, California. Today I'm gonna go over the mistakes that home buyers make when buying a home. Stay tuned. Okay, mistake number one is people do not talk to a lender before they look at a home. All right, now I, I know it's tempting to look at Redfin, Zillow, Trulia, all that good stuff. However, if you're looking at homes that you don't qualify for, it's really going to take a hit on your morale and your attitude when it actually comes to buying a home. I've seen too many times where people will see a home on Redfin, Zillow, or Trulia for let's say 700,000 and they actually qualify for 500,000. So when they look at these $500,000 homes, they have in their mind that $700,000 $700, home that they saw online. All right, so it, please talk to a lender first. That way you're realistic and you know what you qualify for. Okay, mistake, mistake number one. Mistake number two, people want style over structure. Now style is, this refers to a home that's completely remodeled or it's completely move-in ready. Now you're gonna pay, pay a premium for those homes. And at the same time, yes, it may be remodeled, but it might not be remodeled to your taste specifically. So I suggest to all, um, all my clients and all people out there that are going to buy homes, I suggest that you go into maybe something that is on the cheaper side and something that you can customize to your liking and has a great layout also. It's very important that it has a great layout because this hinders the value of a home is when they have a funky layout, okay? So get a home with a great layout and maybe need some work. You know, it's not that big of a deal. On YouTube, there's DIY videos, do-it-yourself videos that uh, list step-by-step -step tutorials of what you need to do to replace your floors, uh, change your cabinets, uh, paint your cabinets, change your countertops, your bathrooms, all that good stuff, okay? So that's what I suggest to my clients and people that are going out there and looking for homes. Okay, mistake number three is that people don't make room in their budget for maintenance and utilities. Now, maintenance, there's a lot of maintenance, tedious maintenance that um, that takes place when you have a home. Okay, there's maybe uh, chippings here or you know little stuff here and there that people don't take that into account. So set aside some money every month for those maintenance issues that you that you encounter. Okay, and also utilities. Make sure you consult with. Uh, maybe someone that owns a home and see, hey, how much are utilities every month? How much water do you use? How much power do you use? How much gas do you use? Like that, okay? So make sure you, you consult with people and see what your budget might look like when it comes to utilities, okay? So make sure you make room in your budget for maintenance and utility. Mistake number four is that people do not perform inspections in escrow, okay? So when you're in contract on a home, please perform your physical inspection. You're going to pay someone a, a licensed inspector to go throughout your home and look at the plumbing, look at electrical, look at the roof, look at everything with the property, okay? And this is very important because you wanna find out what is wrong with the property before you actually buy it, okay? And that way you can actually negotiate with the seller if you do need some crucial things fixed, okay? Because once you close in your home and once you buy your home, after that, it's up to you now. It's your problem now. So if after uh, after the the close of your escrow, if a plumbing issue comes up or a roof issue comes up, that's on you. And a lot of people end up in court suing for damages to get something fixed that could have been handled before they bought the home. Okay. So make sure you're performing an inspection. It's a few hundred dollars. I know it's a little expensive and it's not refundable, but it's well worth it. Trust me. Okay. So perform an inspection. Next. People do not use an agent. Okay, so please use an agent. It's free for buyers um, for the most part, okay? So agents are paid by the seller. So for buyers, it's free. Please utilize us as a resource and that way we can educate you step by step when it comes to buying a home, okay? So don't make that mistake. Do not, do not go into a property without an agent. Number six. Borrowing money, this is the biggest mistake that I see people make when they're in escrow or when they're about to buy a home, they went into a car loan or they bought a jet ski or they bought an RV. Now if you're buying cash, then by all means. But if you're not buying cash, then it's a huge problem because that's gonna shoot your credit down. Uh, you're gonna have more uh, loans on, on your credit as well and every month it's gonna hinder your monthly payment for a house payment. I went over it in uh, one of my old videos, the home buyer guide, I think it was called. But say you have a $500 car payment and 
you originally qualified for a $2,000 monthly payment on the home. Now, minus $500, now you only qualify for $1,500 every month, okay? So make sure you do not borrow money. Um, you know, avoid borrowing money before you buy a home, but um, definitely avoid borrowing money when you're in the process and when you're in escrow because that's gonna kill your deal, okay? Do not borrow money. Okay, the last one that I didn't add in here was taking advice from family and friends. Now, it's perfectly fine to take advice from them uh, regarding the home buying process, but before you make any judgments or, or uh, decisions off of their advice, make sure you consult your agent and ask them uh, first. That way, you know, you can communicate and maybe it was just a miscommunication or maybe, you know, it was a question that your agent should have uh, clarified further. But please, before making your own judgment, please contact your agent and ask them that question um, if you do take advice or you do listen to advice from family and friends, okay, please. Okay, and this is a general topic that I wanna go over that I didn't cover, but if this is the first time buying a home, do not feel like this has to be the perfect home because more likely than not, this isn't gonna be your only home. The stats say that uh, a buyer or a homeowner is in their home less than 10 years and they move on to the next one. So that's the cycle of a home buyer. Pretty much they, they buy their starter home, they move up, 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 and up, and so forth, okay? So don't feel like it has to be the perfect home because that's really gonna eliminate a lot of your options and most of your options because not every home is gonna be perfect to what you want, okay? And there's very little homes that are exactly what you want. All right, so don't feel like this, this has to be the perfect home um, because it's probably not gonna be your last. So thanks for tuning in everyone. My name is Christian, I'm a realtor here in Long Beach, California. Let me know if you want me to dive deeper into any of these subjects, I'm more than happy to. Um, make sure you go and like all my posts, like all, like everything on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, I'll link that in the description. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to my channel. So thanks for tuning in. Stay safe everyone, have a great day, thanks.